una de las bandas más importantes del festival, de este Leyendas del Rock, son sin duda Sabaton. Tenemos aquí a su bajista, a Par, eh, uno de los grandes, 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 grandes de este, repito, Leyendas. ¿Cómo estás, Par? Bienvenido a Rock Palas. Eh, ¿Cómo te encuentras en este Leyendas? Ya tocasteis hace unos años. ¿Qué tal fue la experiencia? Hace dos años, creo recordar, ¿verdad? Yeah, that's true. I mean, uh, we were here two years ago, and since then we were really looking forward to come back. I mean, we carried away from here a great memory of a fantastic crowd, and uh, we we had the fantastic chance to play two festivals in Spain this summer. Yeah, I know. We were in the in the Rock Fest just a few in weeks Barcelona. ago, okay. and we had a fantastic time. And now to come back here mm -hmm. and to be able to deliver a full show. It's gonna be really nice, a full set in, in the evening, and I, I feel honored to be here. Okay, cuando los fans vean esta entrevista en Rock Palace, ya habréis grabado un DVD y un Blu-ray eh, que saldrá a principios del próximo año, según tengo entendido. Eh, ¿Cómo va a ser la producción? ¿Cómo será eh, ese DVD? ¿Qué nos puedes anticipar de ese festival, de vuestro festival donde vais a grabar imágenes de ese concierto para la posterior edición del, del DVD? Well, uh... We have announced that we are filming two shows for this summer, uh -huh. and uh, one of them was Vacuum, which we already filmed, oh, wow. and the other one is going to film our own festival, the Sabaton Open Air in our hometown, oh, wow. which is happening in two weeks. And uh, we, we feel that this event means so much for us, and um, that we want to share the experience from what it is to other people, because uh -huh. it is an absolutely unique festival where fans of Sabaton come from so many different countries. They, they come from Argentina, from Japan, oh, from fantastic. Mexico, from um, Canada, good. from uh, South Africa and from all over Europe. And a lot of people come from Spain. And to be there and to be part of the greatest Sabaton experience you can ha ever have on this earth. And we thought, okay, this is something we have built over the last years now to become a festival which is fully functional and People think that it's a sabot or something small or something, but it's really something that is is fully functional as a complete festival. It's uh -huh. not just it's not just Sabaton playing and some oh, other bands. It's a full yeah. festival, and people have a great experience. We have absolutely one of the most fantastic atmosphere. Everybody who comes there, they say, "Wow!" And we're gonna try to put this and do our best to get mm -hmm. it down on a Blu-ray DVD uh, so people can see it from all around the world or those people who cannot come and hopefully more people will come in the future. Últimamente los viejos eh, rockeros, las grandes bandas como Kiss, Gene Simmons, el manager de Iron Maiden, Rod Smallwood, dicen que el rock está muerto, que no hay nuevas bandas. Se han olvidado de Sabaton. Sabaton, por ejemplo, es una apuesta segura para el nuevo metal, para el metal del presente y del futuro. ¿Qué piensas al respecto? I think there is a future. And I'm not sure, but let's potentially say that there is this legendary band who started it all. And they want to remain legendary for all future times. Maybe it's good for them to sell the, say that rock is dead, so nobody will believe to push the new bands up. Yes, yes. Maybe it's a, it's a thing that they, they do not want new bands. Could be that it is in their mind that if there is no new band, they will live forever as legendary. But what I'm trying to do with Sabaton is that I'm trying to find, as I told you before, looking for new fans always. And I'm pushing it downwards. Whenever I can reach a certain level in a country, been able to do this in Sweden, in Poland, in Belgium, and now in Germany too. We are pushing it down in the ages. When we do our headline shows, we try to invite as many kids as possible. We make the band available for kids. And this means that there's a new generation that grows up. Because if you don't do this, if you only play the venues with 18 age, age limit and beer drinkers, there will be no new generation of new headbangers in the future. I am fighting against it. It costs us a lot because we don't, cannot sometimes play the same venues. We don't get the same fee, uh, same money because we play in venues with all ages. But for me, it's important that Sabaton has a constant grow of younger fans that comes and backs up because one day people stop listening to heavy metal. People die. 
but as long as there's new fans coming in, there is a chance that one day there can be new arena bands. But you must not say that rock is dead, you must support it and you must tell to the kids, the younger generation, that you should not go into hip-hop, you should catch them before they are too late and keep them in the metal and, and raise them in metal. <laughs> and keep them. <laughs> Hello, I'm Per from Sabaton. I'm here at Leyendas del Rock and I'm in Spain. I love it here and I'm gonna come back, that's for sure. And we're gonna bring Sabaton back to Spain a lot of times in the future. And you're watching Rock Palace.